Hello dear users, we will continue with our tutorial about creating expert advisors. In that tutorial we will set uh, our settings from MetaTrader to Forex Strategy Builder and we will start with setting the account information. Let's uh, see what we have now. We are locked in our real account. Mm, we have an account in Euro and the balance is uh, 1000. 127 euro. We'll start from that number. We have to make the same settings in the Forex Strategy Builder Professional. So when you create a strategy, it must correspond to our account. Um, in the Forex Strategy Builder, when you open a new strategy, it uh, starts with the default settings. We have here profile and uh, data source. The profile uh, contains uh, different settings like uh, account information in, and some backtesting settings. Data source contains information about the symbols and uh, the historical data. So we will make uh, a new profile and a new data source for the data we're going to use in the tutorial. Uh, we're going to control panel. We set the account in account tab, but uh, each account is set under a profile. So first we say we create a new profile. We go to profile page and uh, I'll create a new profile named Active Trades because uh, this is the name of my, my broker. Uh, we have here option to, compa uh, to copy settings from other profile, but uh, I will not use that option because I want to set uh, the settings alone. Let's edit. If you want, we can add a comment here to our new profile. And now when I go to the account tab, mm, I can select active trades and here I will set euro and I'll make my account 1000 uh, euro. The leverage is uh, 1 to 100. Uh, if you are not sure, you can see the leverage uh, in uh, your broker page. Maybe you have uh, something like a private zone where you can uh, see your account settings or probably you received an email with uh, all settings. Okay, the, the account is ready and uh, when you go to the strategy, we have a choice. Uh, you see, when, when, I'm going, uh, when I'm in the default profile, the, the balance is in USD and the initial balance is 10,000 USD. But when I change to active trades, we have 1000 euro. This is, a, this is a very, very good way to change the, the settings. We will make the same with the data sources. We we'll go to the control panel and first we will create a new data source. Let's uh, name that uh, data source active, active real. Why real? Because uh, we use data from our real account. Um, the data from the real account and from demo account are, are different because uh, normally they're, they're working on uh, different servers. And uh, I'll show you that on the next tutorials. But uh, now we'll, uh, we'll uh, make a new data source named Active Real and we'll create a new directory for the data also named Active Real. I'll remove that option, copy symbols and settings from another profile, uh, another data source. Okay, let's set the data source. My data source is ready. And uh, I can go to symbols. And here I can select Active Real. Now we see that we have only Euro USD. This symbols, uh, symbol is created automatically by the program when we created the data source. But uh, I want to make uh, several experts. I want to trade a portfolio of uh, experts on the four major symbols. And I will add here uh, the other symbols. Mm, Great Britain Pound, USD. It's type Forex, add. Okay, and I will add uh, also USD, GHF, and uh, USD, GPI. 
I'm going to work with uh, the symbols uh, in this tutorial and uh, I have to set uh, mm, we have here a uh, what size minimum mark, uh, what, uh, minimum what's uh, what stepper spread uh, swaps uh, long and uh, short uh, commission slippage and uh, all the settings we have uh, this settings must correspond to what we have in the broker so uh, how to how to do that one one way is to go to in meta trader and to right click here in the market watch and select the symbols and here in that window this is selected uh, euro usd and click properties and uh, here i see some of the settings but not all uh, what we have here the spread spread is set zero because uh, the spread here is dynamic it's not fixed we have uh, five digits we have to to set these uh, parameters to for strategy builder and uh, i go to for strategy builder i have to be sure that uh, we have uh, the correct data source selected active real euro usd let's make like that okay and uh, we have five digits here five digits what size the, this in metro is contract size is uh, 100,000 here we have uh, 10,000 let's make it 100 minimum watts and uh, what step is not shown here I'll show uh, uh, in a moment another way how to import data the spread mm, oh I don't know want uh, don't know how much is the spread let's see 10 19 it's about uh, eight and nine uh, points let's make it okay 20 is okay uh, when we make a back test uh, when you're developing a strategy it's better to use a higher spread because uh, the spread is variable sometimes it it will be lower than that but sometimes can be higher and also with that spread we can compensate some slippage here we can set a uh, uh, swap uh, for long and for short positions we have a long swap uh, minus 0 0.8 okay and um, excuse me for a moment so uh, the short swap is uh, plus 0 0.4 since here 0 0.4 plus what uh, means minus and uh, plus uh, sign when we have a negative swap we pay interest to the broker so we are losing these uh, points uh, at uh, every rollover when we transfer a position overnight but uh, when the number is positive we we gain these uh, points we don't have commissions and uh, I will not set slippage. So no, we can uh, we can make the same for other symbols, but uh, I will show you a faster way how to do that. I will use uh, the trader mode in Forex Strategy Builder. We are not going to trade, but uh, I will use that connection to import data. So how how that works? We have uh, many tutorials and videos how the trader works. Mm. first uh, we have a bridge here uh, I'll start that bridge in the, these four charts uh, when you start the bridge what you have our DOL import this must be on because the bridge uses a uh, DOL and I said here unique uh, unique uh, connection I did it use 10 here um, but uh, let's go to tools options experts where is that expert advisor and I, i'll select that one and allow do imports okay now i'll when i start the bridge here the will imports will be uh, switched on by default i'll set here 20. um here i'll set 30. 
and here I will set 40. So we have uh, the virtual link on the four major charts. I will use this bridge only for importing data. Now I go to Forex Strategy Builder and uh, in Trader Mode and I set this uh, four connections. Okay. Forex Strategy Builder is connected. This strategy is connected to four charts. I'll expand the window to see here the information. Now, uh, for strategy builder receives all information from a meta trader and it shows here much more information that you can see in the meta trader we see here all market information and account information so we know everything about our account we have uh, we see here in the market we see what size um, minimum what maximum what so what step swaps where are the swaps swap long swap short uh, we can import that information in uh, our our data source we can go to control panel and go to data sources i have to be sure that uh, akif rio is uh, selected because this is the target uh, where we will import data and here below we have import symbols and we import symbols from MetaTrader 4 connection. So I import all these connections. Connection number 10. This is Euro USD. It imports all data for for from that connection. Digit what size spread swap everything. I will make the same with the 20. Okay. 30 USD and the finally with uh, 40 use the gpi okay that's all i don't need that connection anymore i'll close the connections and go to bridge to builder mode and in metatrader uh, i can remove that experts remove Okay. Mm, let's see what we have now. In control panel symbols, active real, we have the four symbols, and they they all have uh, settings corresponding to what we have in our real account. But uh, now the symbols are ready, but we don't have any uh, historical data. When you go to the data source active real from here we can go to the to open the the data directory and we see the the, the directory is uh, empty there is no historical files we import uh, data in the next tutorial but now i'll show you the fastest way to receive historical data we can go to the hist history center and the data download we, we select here what uh, symbols we want to import Let's say we import for these four majors. Select the 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 data source where we want to import data and click download. We have an online server with uh, historical data. These data are updated every hour, but uh, these data are not from your broker. These data are coming from Duke's copy. We use this data only to to set to to check if everything is working well but uh, we'll continue with data import uh, in the next tutorial and uh, i'll finish that tutorial with setting templates so uh, i want to use uh, this uh, active trades uh, profile and active real data source and uh, i'm going to use uh, 15 minutes data for the tutorial and uh, I'll set here some initial data. Let's say uh, my initial um, amount, entry amount will be 0 0.1 or okay, let's be like that. And if I'm using uh, adding, let's add every time 0 0.1. If I, uh, for the reducing, I'll set 0 0.1 also. 
and it reads maximum watt to be 0 0.4 so I don't want a, 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 a position a strategy to open more than 0 0.4 watts and uh, I will save this uh, data here as a template by pressing this button here okay and what let's uh, stop everything and now if I click here open strategy from a template we, we have uh, active trades uh, a pro a profile um, data source symbol and uh, trading amount everything is prepared for uh, making uh, strategies and expert advisors so we'll continue in the next tutorial in next tutorial we import uh, historical data from MetaTrader. We'll finish uh, that video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.